I am Ra. Yes, dear ones, you have come to be the foundation of evolution. You are breaking free from limiting patterns that you set into existence for eons. You will let go of your deep heaviness so you can fly again. You will let go of fear, anxiety, guilt, shame and feelings of unworthiness. You will feel connected again and put an end to the isolation that comes from hiding from yourselves. You will forgive yourselves and you will heal. With the surge of energies with the supermoon, you must nurture your female and inner child energies as the shift continues. You are fully protected as a new timeline is completed, bringing new positive abundance to all. Something to celebrate, don't you think? Listen carefully for guidance that will be given at this time. Mother Earth is merging beautifully with New Earth. There is much positivity, much. Mercury retrograde energies ask you to go deep, to excavate anything and most everything that you had yet to deal with. This caused feelings of darkness and confusion. Next, after some recent releasing and purging, you were then left at a crossroads regarding much. Where are you now? What did you want? Were we ready? Were you ready to commit to certain relationships? Were you ready to keep certain people in your lives? Whether they be spouses or even hired help? I am Ra. Your dreams have not blown up in your faces. Your desires and supports have not left you forever. We are simply restructuring and readying you for the next phase of forward moment and movements. If you were to move forward without being able to examine and restructure, you could have moved forward into a space that was not in your best interest. You could have moved forward into a space that was not nowhere near in your best interest. This is how the universe always lovingly protects. Protects you. This is how we know that you are always watched over and how you know that you your soul is beautifully being guided in all ways. You have recently been given an opportunity to examine much, to think twice and to realize what you are grateful for. What really matters to you? If much of your life was lost or destroyed, what would you really want to be left with? What really matters to you in the end? What would you never want to do without? When these limbo energies eventually pass, you will be grateful for much. You will be much clearer. You will have processed things that have been left on the back burner and then you will be ready to move forward once again with much more certainty, clarity and commitment. 
I am Ra. At times during our evolutionary and expansion process, you may make substantial leaps ahead in vibration or frequency, or rather in raising your consciousness. Although they may appear to be sudden leaps, it is actually only a matter of an accumulation of higher energy that has congealed and thus reached a certain threshold, which then creates a leap or forward movement. When these leaps occur, you can find yourselves in very new spaces of residency in regard to vibration or dimensional levels. Being that lower vibrating energy cannot exist alongside higher vibrating energy. A purging is then created. During these times of purging and release there is a far greater amount of the darker and denser energies present as they are moving and readying for a departure. The overlap then has a much stronger opportunity to relate to an overlap of our shadow sides when strong waves of light or higher vibrating energy bombard the planet during a particular time we usually begin attracting the more pleasant or higher vibrating aspects of ourselves and the overlap is then much more enjoyable. But as you are expanding and evolving on a continual basis the overlaps become more and more of a pleasant experience. I am Ra. The earth is transmuting and morphing in totality vibration. The consciousness field of earth is taking on clarity and everyone knows everything and when the air clears, consciousness will know what steps are to be taken. You are all clearing the final remnants of your crap now. You can feel this now because there is a real sense of home now emerging on earth. It's been a long journey and you have done your work through it all. Well done well done. Holding the light is no longer necessary on earth because the consciousness of earth is now holding its own light. People emerging from the dream completely. As I said before, merging beautifully with new earth along with you. If you have been following my messages, you know I know a majority of you also have already merged also with New Earth. So if you haven't as yet, no, it is possible. So please join the others soon. The ultimate effect of healing yourselves can transform our world when you are willing to strive for personal mastery. In this way, you as humanity can begin to fulfill your true potential as custodians of divine wisdom and love on our planet. The infinite potential of yourselves is being reached and our inner gifts are ready to be shared with the world. Allowing them to manifest in your life is the task at present. These are extreme times in your collective ascension process. The spiritual awakening is spreading across your planet as higher light continues to enter the earth plane. I am Ra. Your mission 
each one of you is to help the millions upon millions of humans now waking. No waking up seeing new potentials for the human condition. They are discovering that they are not necessarily victims of an assigned fate, but full co-creators in their experience. They are learning to honour and nurture themselves and others in new ways and to seek their divinity in new ways. How they will proceed, though without guidance and example, which does not serve to disempower them with doctrines, dogmas and karmic patterns of the old paradigm through your advanced communications technologies the vast majority of humans are able to seek and find information which pertains to their awakening and desire to know the truth of what they've been told and taught through their lives much of the available information has been filtered and distorted through the linear mind and will not serve awakening humanity in any way but to show it what it is not many more humans are awakening to abilities of telepathy clairvoyance channel and the third eye the fascination with these abilities for their own sake may lead the awakening down the path of confusion which will in turn lead them to disillusionment and fear with the potentials of their awakening. There are forces as well which will fear the potential of human awakening very much and would attempt to manipulate the information and tools of awakening human, humanity toward their own ends. Now you have the awesome potentials before you with the awakening of humanity but someone has to put the example there the application of the new information in thought word and deed only in this way will the new information become the new operating paradigms for collective humanity you my beloved ones who are hearing this message are the ones who have chosen that assignment to live fully in light and love for the example of all humanity. As you do this, you transmute the karmic patterns of your world and you open the way for awakening humanity to follow behind you in clarity rather than confusion. It is not an easy task you have chosen this you already know. As you took it up in your embodiment, though you were given all the tools you needed to complete the task, you have them within you and you have the full support of all the higher realms of creation. In the accelerating frequencies of your next years, you will no longer be able to walk between the worlds of love and fear. You must choose one or the other, clarity or confusion and further problems. <laughs> we honour you for your courage in taking up this task and support you always and in all possible ways. You must ultimately co-create your individual and collective experience within the earth plane. Now is the time to go within and find your divinity rather than to continue to seek your power from source outside yourselves. As you fortify your inner pillar of strength, so you shall become the firm foundation for the evolution of humanity. I am Ra. Dear ones, this I firmly believe and fully trust of you to be and I send my love and many blessings to you all. Namaste. And I, Rosalie, send all my love and I give thanks for listening to Ra today 
and just being here. Thank you. Sending blessings. Namaste.